in this final bonus video, I'm going to show you my boss scene. This scene is downloadable. It would take me way too long to explain how this is done, but you can download the entire project from GitHub below. So what I've got here is the boss scene with a world, a background that moves, and the player and the boss. The boss is made up of the following components. It has an area node named Vlad Boss. It has a collision shape, which is probably too small for it. It has an animated sprite. It has a timer called spin timer, burst timer, and just a straight up timer. It also has a visible on-screen notifier. I set that behind the player, uh, behind the boss. What will happen, the boss will move in, but the script for the visible on-screen notifier, if we go there, will set the speed to zero. So once that visible on-screen notifier is in the scene, it stops moving. And then a timer starts. When that timer goes off, that timer goes off, it sets the current bullets on screen to zero, and it picks a bullet pattern from a pattern in the list. The patterns are spin timer and burst timer. You could add more. Once the pattern is picked, the timer for that pattern starts. This timer continues to go, and then every time it goes off, it'll pick a new bullet pattern. The burst timer, if the current bullets is greater than the maximum bullets on the screen, the burst timer stops. It creates a new bullet, and in this case, the burst angle, uh, it just kind of bursts across the screen. You can see how this works. It'll come in, it'll go up and down, and just... So that's the, that's the burst, and if we're lucky, we'll see the spin. There's only two things, but it definitely seems to favor this burst one. And that's the spin one there. So we've got those different timers. You could add more. Uh, when you shoot it, it takes damage. Um, it has like 400 health. You could reduce this down to uh, a lot less and just have it as an enemy that comes in and sits on the screen while your other enemies are going by. If it's less than or equal to zero, explode. Um, what I've got down here is create the explosion and then await and then change to the windscreen. I haven't made that. If you want to do it, that's up to you. The enemy bullet is very simple. It's just like every other bullet, except instead of um, translate left, we're transforming by its X position, which will take the position, which will take its normal position, but rotate it and move it straight along that angle. In the player, there is only one little bit of code that's changed, which is this bit here to check if the area is in group enemy bullet. Uh, we queue free, we do everything the same as with enemy, except we don't explode because that function does not exist on the enemy. And that's it. So you can download this project below. Uh, you can have a look at it. So from the start, we've got the main menu and these work, start game. And you can go through two worlds and then the, the boss shows up. I actually don't think I put the code in to change it to the boss scene at the end, um, but you can figure that out. And uh, the boss scene works. Um, if you shoot him 400 times, you can change that. Let's see, I'll we'll change it to two just to make sure he actually does work. So I haven't checked that. Health is, I oh, will go five. And check that boss scene. There we go. And it doesn't go to the next level because I have that bit of code commented out because the next level doesn't exist, but that's it. So if there's any other kinds of videos you'd like to see, um, short tutorials similar to this, where I just focus on the absolute basics of making something, and then you can take it and go with it uh, and create whatever you want from there. Uh, let me know in the comments below.